Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. The last time we saved a bunch more Waddledees and we're up to 89%. And uh, we are down to only six that we have not saved yet. 294 out of 300. So let's go ahead and get our first... Um, ability of the day other than sleep which i'm going to use immediately but of the 11 other abilities since you're here Tyrion, which one will we will we be starting with uh keeping in mind that we might end up having to like drop it immediately if uh if we need a specific ability for something but which one will be will we be taking into our first stage? What are we doing? We're we're getting the last six Ds, and I don't remember what all of them are, but a lot of them are going to be something to do with um, beating things without getting hit, which I'm not looking forward to. We're probably going to be doing those last. I mean, yeah, no D requires abilities from outside the stage, yes, I know, but I still like to, to start off by selecting an ability to bring into the stage. Trash. All right. I mean, it ain't gonna last long, but let's do it. Uh, let's see. So the Battle of, Bri of Blizzard Bridge has three Ds that we haven't gotten yet. And there are all three of them. Um, all three of them are missions. So remove four wanted posters, beat Twin Wild Frosty without getting hit, which if we can bring Crash into Wild Frosty, then um we might be we might be able to just do it that way and yes you can absolutely tell me where the detour is uh, i have put up back seating allowed for this stream because i do want to get the rest of these right at the start aha Nice. Uh, hey, Zenf. How you doing? How do I get out of here? Kirby and the Furby Larby. Yeah, I'm going to put this up here so it doesn't get blocked. Okay, so I guess I can't do what I had originally planned. But I can do that. And just wreck this wild edge. There's another detour, but it makes the stage harder. So better to not hit it while getting the hidden Ds. Gotcha. By the way, if y'all see a um, a wanted poster that I happen to not see, please let me know. If 
gosh, is the best way to get the twin wall fry. Well, I mean, I guess you can kind of juggle crash. Oh, that's poopy. Like, you, you can, like, throw it out and then uh, spit stars at um, Wild Edge and then get it back, throw it out again. But then you have to do that multiple times. Oh, yeah, I guess I would need the, uh... Let's see if I can get my sword back. Nope. All right. Not seeing a poster around here. I am seeing this block. Ah. That's one. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, no, there's a, there's a Poppy Brother over there. And of course, my, my standard way of, well, didn't work that time, didn't work that time so well. But my standard way of avoiding getting hit is, of course, fighting something with bomb. And of course, okay, it's gonna make me do this. Because I would have to guess, like, I've probably already missed a, uh, a poster, honestly. Like, it's probably in the first bonus room. Just that I completely missed where it was. Okay, well, there's that poster, actually. This is going to go poorly. Yep, already messed it up.
How many posters? We only got two posters. Okay, there is a thing over here. There we go. And there's probably a poster in here. Oh, okay. Oops. Yeah, the other poster is going to be in the first room. So I'm going to have to do the rooms again. Actually, hmm. It's not going to be pleasant, but I do wonder if I can just go back. Because we never actually hit a room transition. Just so that next time we don't have to worry about doing um, yeah, sure. Next time, we'll, we won't have to worry about doing the wanted posters again. Ooh, that was real close to falling off. Yeah, there it is. That's one less to worry about. We just need to worry about the, the Twin Frosties at this point. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. There we go. That's already one third of the uh, the waddle D is that we are missing. And here's a new one, the twirling star rocket. Well, let's see if I can do it the way that I usually do it, with bombs. Um, I'll give that a couple of tries, and uh, if it doesn't work out, we'll try the crash way. And that's probably going to be hell to manage. But um, we'll see if it can work out. Back to the Battle of Blizzard Bridge. We're already at full health, so we don't need that. Uh, that Max and Tomato.
I still appreciate how the homing bombs can jump. Ah. No. Fortunately, my health doesn't matter for you. And get that capsule just to be sure. Safety's sake and all that. I do find it nifty how some of these mini bosses have just been around like forever. Like Kirby's Dreamland did not have a whole lot. Oh my goodness, really? Oh boy, I hate this. Like Kirby's Dreamland didn't have a whole lot of mini bosses that actually did stick around. Like it had uh Poppy Rather Senior. And I hesitate to say Krako Jr. because Krako Jr. doesn't have an ability. Oh yeah, I never thought about that. Poppy Brother Sr. does not figure into this game, you're right. I guess they just weren't sucked into the vortex. Well, I may should not get sucked in that time, so that's not nothing. I don't think we have all of the volume ones yet, so... Dang. Oh, yeah, like pretty much the the biggest strategy with the bomb is just 
throw in as much of a spread as you can manage. Because the more bombs are linked, the more of an explosion you get. All right, now these SOBs again. Just need to not get hit immediately. I'm gonna need to remember one of them always charges immediately. And I took I took a hit. All right. Let's try this with Crash. See, the, one of the big problems, I'm sure, is the fact that I know I can dodge. I know I have this ability. I just never use it. Uh, where is Crash? There we go. I just need to remember not to use it accidentally. Or spit it out, you know. Actually, one thing that I might do here I usually have it off, but I'm going to turn Auto Swallow on just so that I cannot accidentally spit out Crash. Well, waited too long. You know what? I'm going to come back to this one. Um, and we already got all of those. Okay, on to Silly Dill, I guess, which is also clear without taking damage. They are, um, they, they are time limited. I mean, they, they've been time limited the entire time. Just that their timer is a lot longer than in most games. I think the only ability that has ever um, not had a timer is Meta Knight Sword in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Um, that one cannot uh, be despawned by time. I'm not sure how I dodged that second one. I'm going to be honest with you guys.
But yeah, using dodge is definitely the way to go as far as uh, avoiding the dash attack. And uh, I kind of came to that realization uh, last week after dismissing my stream, I uh, raided Susball, uh, who had just uh, recently played the game as well. And um, yeah, the way the way that uh, she ended up beating Silly Dillo was with the dodge. Because the thing is, you get invincibility frames out of it. Really? I do have a tick of damage up there, but I'm pretty sure I came in with that tick of damage. So I'm not too worried. I think I think that's uh that's a perfect I think does bomb have a counterattack I am not sure That was not a perfect I'm okay so I guess I didn't come in with that ticket damage <sighs> All right Excuse me. Yeah, there there must have been a hit that I that I took while I was uh guarding and not dodging. Yeah, these damage less runs, I am not a fan of them. So now I'm sure I'm coming in with full health.
Come on. That one at least is easy enough to dodge. Oh jeez. You're gonna start right there, are you? Ah! Frickin' no, not play co-op. Now, I'm not used to countering in general is the problem. Like, I'm not even used to using the dodge in the first place. So... I'd rather try to do this at my own speed. Now, whether this is going to work out or not, that's another story. Slam the attack button while you're in the slow-mo that fires off the counter. It doesn't look like this has a counter so much. I was using, trying to use counter there at a low stakes uh, spot to use it. I dodged into the path. It's just a really basic counter, yeah. Well, yeah, get ready for probably a painful stream because we're pretty much down to the Waldies that are going to be the hardest to get. Because I got four left and I think three of them are take no hits against the boss. Also, it doesn't help if I dodge super early. Okay, phase three. Please do not land right next to me, you silly dillo.
Oh, geez. Got him. <sighs> hey, Jewel. Glad you could make it for that victory. You know, the cool thing is, like, one of the best things about owning a Switch, like, th there is no risk of this happening right now, little to no risk. There's always, like, chaos chance of things happening. But if the power goes out and the game hasn't saved yet, the Switch is still running. <laughs> I just have to go get it from the dock and uh, save the game. Uh, now for this. Clear within two minutes and presumably clear without taking any damage and if I win and finish the stage, I am shipped directly into the lab, despite the fact that I absolutely don't need to go there. I'm not really a fan of that. So I'm going to try without taking damage right now. So I'm going to keep bomb. But again, probably not the most efficient way. That is basically my go-to for... Uh, ...beating a boss without taking a hit. Not that it always works, mind you. I do wish that there was like a restart boss option. I'm going to just start from the beginning of the boss instead of having to do the whole thing again. Especially considering, like, you have to friggin' load out of the stage, load back into the stage. That was the hard boss, even with the dodge. Yeah, I believe it. You know what? Let's try a different approach.
Uh, at least we managed to get the um, we managed to get the uh, the Waldi for not getting hit by any of the fire attacks. This is going to take a while. So I think also like the hit stun um slows down ddd a little bit ah too early <sighs> Still gotta focus on not taking any damage, cause that's the hard one. <laughs> Basically my my plan for um when I do get that um Waldi done and then I just have to do the time trial is pretty much just grab the sword and get up in there. <laughs> but for now... What? I was in mid-dodge, I swear. Late dodge. Oh, or early. That's still dumb. I have a mind to take that tornado actually, because that offers some vulnerability as well. Oh, that was actually real quick. Look at that.
That might actually be both of them. That might actually be both of them. That was real quick. Yeah, there we go. Clear within two minutes and clear without taking any damage. There you go. Ah! Turns out that learning how to dodge and counter is super useful. That brings us down to 1D left. There we go. So back to Blizzard Bridge. Let's just hold on to Ranger, honestly. Right? like fighting Bowser. Dang. That is your only chance getting twin, twin wall frosties if you're on juggling time, Grash. Even then it's a gamble. I still haven't gotten that D. Well, I am not happy with 299 Waddle Ds. 300 or bust, baby. You can get right out of there, buddy. Well, I think one of the biggest problems with fighting uh, Twin Frosty is just the, the arena is so small compared to an actual boss arena. And you have to fight two of them. <laughs> Really? I didn't kill you? There you go.
Well, also the camera angles do not help. Like with, with actual bosses, the game will always give you a camera angle, well, will always try to give you a camera angle that will uh, allow Kirby to be like in the foreground while the boss is in the background, unless it's some big cinematic thing. Like, uh, for instance, DDD jumping. Uh, There we go. I mean, the like another fact is here in order to get a hundred percent in this game. Like, we're definitely going to have to do the Ultimate Cup. Because the true arena has, has been a part of 100% since its inception. So, we're going to need to be able to actually do that in order to uh, clear this game. And I would like to be able to do that on stream. Kirby, please. You're going to need a full blast. Otherwise, you just won't die. At least it's not something stupid like don't take any hits for the entire stage up until uh until and including Twin Mall Frosty. Because that would be terrible. I totally took a hit there. Ah oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like this hit this is like I would have to say 100%. This is the worst D in the game. Be just because of the fact that you have to... Um, like, you have to, to get through the entire stage, whether or not you get hit. Just to fight one specific boss and see if you can avoid getting hit for long enough. I mean, time crash juggle is definitely an option. Like, I haven't forgotten that. Main problem with that is, like, you saw how it went the first time. Dang. There we go. And like the, the worst thing about trying to do time crash juggle is if you lose crash, whether you use it or um, it despawns, then you have to go back to town and get it again. That's just a lot more um, a lot more loading screens to sit through.
Actually, I think that would have been an opportunity for a counter. Oh, nice. I actually got him in the air like, like that. Now, although I don't need to be at full health for this, I would definitely prefer to be at full health just to have a better indication that, oh no, I've been hit again. <sighs> Morpho could be an option too since this dodge is longer. Well, let's give it a try. And yes, Jewel, that is bonkers. And Florina. And Wild Edge. All the gang is here. I shot too early. It's definitely not a pleasant thing to happen. In any case. Oh, just barely. Also allows me to just kind of get up in there like I proposed to do with uh, with uh, King DDD. And then ended up not needing to. Ah, here we go. Nope. Ah, uh, this is just awful. Hmm. Drill is not a bad idea, Jewel. I might try that next. I uh, I'll give Sword one more try, but there is a uh a mole guy along the way. So I can definitely give Dr Drill a try.
Also, is it just me or is is uh is having a double full bar of health having an effect on the sword beam? I'll try I'll try drill next time if I don't get it this time. I gotta immediately dodge and immediately get hit. Ah, uh, this is bad. Like, who came up with this? So this time, let's try drill. See if that's any better. It's a bit of a clunky ability to use, but it's also very defensive. We will, we will. It definitely does follow the the uh the pacing of we will rock you. And that's like the big thing is Morpho, like Morpho Sword wrecks mini bosses, but absolutely destroys them. The problem is that there are two of them, and both of them are doing different things at different times, with one of them like throwing things at you, and the other one throwing themselves at you. Okay. This time, twin drill. Let's see how this goes. Substantially better than previous attempts. Oh, until I got eaten. But still, that was a better attempt. You're on to something, Jewel. I'm trying this again. Oh, you've been smart before. Stop that. Miles again a bat.
I am gonna grab the sword until we get to um twin assholes again. That's mostly like Florina gets no chance to attack. Oh dear. What have I done? Friggin' Jewel. Okay, here we go. Ah. Uh, I almost had it, but I ran into that ice and then I didn't have it. Ah. Uh. Angie Kitty. Yes, indeed. Angie Kitty just wants this to end. I mean, if you just want to hang out in the corner there and be completely ineffectual, that's perfectly fine with me. Get wrecked. Of course, my, my wild bonkers strats could still definitely use some work.
We got it this time. We got it. 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 What hit me? I, I do not have a proper understanding of what attacks will hit me while I'm underground and which which won't. Did I I don't think I got slammed. Oh man, I actually didn't get Florina before, uh, I guess I'm kind of assuming she, but before she started her, uh, her tornado attack there. Pretty much the thing with uh, with a Kirby game, though. If you assume a, cer a certain gender, you're probably right, especially considering that it's a Japanese game. Let's be honest here. And I try to focus one down. I not effectively. Not sure how that wasn't a complete circuit, but okay. Yeah, he jumped on me. That's what, that's what happened. I am not immune to jumps. This is worse than Silly Dillo, like, hands down. Oh, and I even lost my ability. Great. Didn't notice that I had. This is easily the worst challenge. Yeah, like hands down. You can probably go to anyone who's gotten every single Waddle Dee in this game. Ask them what is the worst Waddle Dee to get. They are probably going to say Battle on the Bridge, Twin Wild Scarfies. In fact, uh, Seth is probably streaming later tonight. 
Although I don't know if she's going to be streaming Death Stranding. She was streaming something else last night after Fra after uh, Frank finished. Um, unfortunately, I had to go to bed, so... I didn't really get to see much of what, much of what it was, but... Uh, Okay, here we go. And that's another thing, I can get grabbed from, uh, from underground while they're doing that attack. Brace yourselves, folks, because this is the rest of the stream. I sure hope this is not the rest of the stream. Oh, come on. That was it. That's so weird how that happens. It's like the the shock wave happens and the wild edge is not in it, but then he runs into like what's left of it and that counts. And like this is to me, this is like the most painful thing in this, is like, I can do the other three bosses without getting hit. I can do the entire rest of the stage without getting hit. It is just the friggin' Wild Frosties. This absolutely hate you and everything you stand for. That's not going to count, is it? That's the closest I've been. This is miserable. I know what, I'm taking my friggin' capsule. And my three hundred and eighteen dollars. Hey, monkey. Oh, we got a. 
We got a new green one, the Gigazzo. Let me take a drink real quick here. Water! Life-giving water, nectar of the gods. That's interesting. Like I, um, I realized I had grabbed a star rather than the uh, wild edge, and I had already pressed Y to spit, but I didn't want to spit it at the wild edge, even though I know I can still get the ability. But if you hold, like if you keep holding Y, readjust yourself and then let go, it'll. Uh, like Kirby will will spit out whatever he's holding at the new angle. Just kind of neat. I'm sure it can also be useful in certain situations, like practically. Dang. Okay. We came super close last time. This time we're just going to fail immediately. Right? Wrong. Shoot. That's one down. We did it. We did it. 300 Waddle Ds. Oh. Come yeah, on. There it is. <laughs> All right. So we are done with the main game. That would have been po poetic justice if we had gotten a figurine of Wild Frosty there. All the Waddle Dee saved, you don't know the half of it. All the wild D's and winter horns, you don't know the half of it. Wait a minute, what? Oh, there we go, you saved all the wild D's. Let's head back to town and celebrate with them. Let's do that. Oh! Mm. It'll stretch and posture break.
You saved every Waddle D. Thank you, Kirby. As a show of appreciation, special statues are now in the town plaza. However, we didn't get a figurine out of that. Statues? Of us? Right in the middle of town? I think I'm blushing. Well, that takes us to 90%. And that doesn't seem to have actually unlocked anything in town. But I'm pretty sure that everything that was going to be unlocked in town is already unlocked, so we didn't get anything new out of that. But there it is, our fully populous Waddle D town. Dang it, there we go. And wave to, wave to DDD. Might have not have been close enough there. <laughs> That's cute. Jeff. The man, the myth, the legend. Jeff. Uh, so yeah. I'm really glad we were able to find Leon Gar oops, I mean Leon, and bring him back. I haven't forgotten, you know. When I used up all my powers, I yeah, I think we uh I think we already went through this dialogue actually. But yeah, we still have some work to do. Also, I'm not counting every single D and seeing if there are 300 of them. So we have 278 out of 300 soul pieces. So let's see. There we go. So we need to go to, so we finished the two first stages. And so we just need to do the remaining four stages. And these stages will actually tell us when we're done. Like, they'll tell us when we're done for every single area. I should add that. So, real good stuff. But I think before we um, take on this challenge of clearing this out, I think it's time to take a little bit of a break. It's going to be a little bit of an early break, but um, personally, I'm okay with that because that was pretty strenuous what I just did. So um, I'll take a minute, uh, get some water, go to the bathroom. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And then about 10-15 uh, minutes, we shall be right back with uh, some more of Kirby and the Forgotten Land within the isolated isles, Forgo Dreams. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 